So now that you've read some of the slides on different forces that play a role in wind speed, we're going to talk about a wind that is the balance of two forces. The pressure gradient force, remember the strength of the pressure gradient force is dependent on how close together or far apart isobars are. The closer they are together, the stronger the pressure gradient force. And the Coriolis force. And again, remember, the further you get from the equator, the stronger the Coriolis force gets. So if you start wind moving with a pressure gradient force, as it moves away from its starting point, you will get um, a Coriolis force reaction. And eventually, over long a uh, period of time, those two forces are going to balance each other out. And because you've only got two forces, uh, you will have a wind moving parallel to the isobars. Because in the northern hemisphere, the Coriolis force is forcing things to the right, in the southern hemisphere to the left, that means the pressure gradient force and Coriolis force balance, and the wind ends up going to the right of the initial pressure gradient force. These are called geostrophic winds. And again, as I just said, the pressure gradient force starts air moving, Coriolis force reacts to that, and again, if you have any change in that pressure gradient force, the Coriolis force is going to increase as the pressure gradient force increases and decrease as the pressure gradient force decreases to keep in balance. And the wind will result in blowing parallel to isobars. These are generally upper level winds, and they are far enough above the surface that we don't have interactions of friction.